Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Um, let's confirm we are all on the same page. Kindly type in hi in the comment section. If you can hear and see, if you can hear me clearly and you can see my screen, kindly type in hi in the comment section so that we can kickstart the session. Okay. Um, all right, good morning, Carrie. Thank you for that confirmation. Um, eight five eight high, nine five nine valley. Okay, hey, three five nine. Good morning. All right, Carrie, I see you. How was your weekend? Trust you had a blissful one. For me, it was um, very, very short as uh, usual. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you for that confirmation. So let's, um, conf let's um, get ready to start. And um, I welcome you all to another promising session of, of Extra and Speed Life, hosted by my humble self, Sheriff Daramola. As usual, it's about time you fasten your seatbelt, as I will be taking you on a trading journey in the next one hour, where we will be evaluating the financial markets using various technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us this week well considering the fact that today is the first day of the week what we're going to be doing today is um take what the um the major the major pairs we normally look at we're going to be looking at the us oil the us tech and we shall be taking random pairs that i think um we um we have good opportunities good trading opportunities for this week and if you have any pair you want us to look at feel free to drop it in the comment section and i will try as much as possible to include it in my plans for today so uh without further ado let's dive into the chat and let's see what is happening in the market right now well, the first pair we will be looking at today is the U.S. oil. Hold on a second. Sorry for the break in transmission. So, as usual, we want to be looking at the US oil first of all to see what is happening. So, um, we want to have a fresh look at what is happening here. So, we scale up into, let's start from the weekly time frame. Let's actually see what has been going on since the beginning of the year. Well, you can see on the weekly time frame, the first thing I was able to identify here on the weekly time frame is a very, very strong and uniform bullish trend line. You can see what has been happening since May of 2020 as price has continued to respect that bullish trend line. You can see how I was able to connect the series of higher lows. You can see we had one here in November of 2020. We had one around here 
later part of last year and we had one here um december last year and right now price is right back within that zone so with the current structure we have here right now it is obvious that price action has been on a very strong bullish momentum and if we zoom into the current structure we have here we can see since the impulsive move started at the beginning of the year we can see how we had this impulsive move to the upside and it appears price is going through a retracement phase that has guided price right back into this bullish trend line here and what is going to be our expectation this week how we're going to be having a trend continuation right from this point to the upside or is there a possibility that we could be seeing price break down that bullish trend line in the form of um, a retest of structure to send price crashing to the downside so these are the scenarios we want to be looking forward to this week and want to see how we will be getting ourselves prepared to take advantage of that move when it finally matures so the first thing i was able to do here on the weekly time frame is to identify the key level at the 85 dollar mark and the reason why this key level is cited at this area I will explain to you in a moment if we look at the structure here and look at what has been happening since um, the later part of last year we can see that this $85 mark at one point in time has been a determinant of selling momentum on this market we can see we saw multiple rejection between um, October of 2021 and November 2021 we saw multiple rejection of this level before we finally saw this bearish move to the downside so that is one that is one point there then um, during the early um, the early days of this new of this year we saw an outright breakout of that level which sent price going to as far as the let me see where that is as far as the $129 mark we can see price move to as far as $129 mark here after we saw price coming back in the form of a retracement phase of that previous impulse leg and right now if we look at what we shared here you saw this level here and right now price is right back at that level see what happened during the course of last week trading session we saw a, a sharp rejection of that level we can see hereby this candle closing in a, in a candle that looks like a hammer candle giving us a possible bullish momentum that will be evolving from that point in time and look at how this key level also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line we were able to identify on the weekly time premiere so we have quite a lot of confluences around this area that is supporting a bullish momentum but that doesn't mean that we should jump into a conclusion that we are going to be having a bullish momentum here that is we're going to be seeing price continue to the upside from this point because right now we are right on the very we are right on a bullish trend line and we all understand that when price is oscillating right around a trend line we want to be mindful of how we jump into trade we want to look out for at least significant confirmation that will support the direction we are going as from this point there is still a possibility that price will still break down that bullish trend line where a retest of structure could send price to the downside so to get to be to have a better perspective into what is happening on the u.s oil it is appropriate that we scale down to a much lower time frame where we will begin to see things more clearly so scaling down to let's say the four hours time frame here what do we have this is what i shared with you um shared with you on the weekly time frame this is the multiple rejection we cited this is the rejection we cited on the weekly time frame and you can see it appears we're having a bullish momentum as we saw price move up right back above the bullish trend line sorry yes above the bullish trend line we identified on the weekly time frame and right price back down into the trend line we saw this move then we saw another rejection of this trend line in the last hour and right now 
we might be seeing a breakout of the structure. Now, before we go further into this, another thing I also want to share with you here on the four hours time frame is the structure I was able to identify um, since on the 13th of July or 20th of June rather. We can see how price has been finding lower lows and lower highs. We can see how that has been happening. So one thing I did here was to connect the series of lower lows and lower high to um, to form this bearish trend line. So we have this bearish trend line here, which is something we also need to look at going into the new week. Um, if we look at the bearish trend line here, you know, with um, the sharp rejection of that bearish trend line during the early, um, the later part of last week trading session here, there is a possibility that price could likely want to respect this bearish trend line one more time with an intention of moving to this point. So now for us to take a bullish momentum on this, looking at it from the higher on the four hours time frame here, we definitely want to be looking forward to a breakout of this bearish trend line to give us a signal that we are going bullish. And if we have a breakout of structure, remember we are not getting too excited as we want to wait for price action to give us further confirmation in the form of a retest of either that bearish trend line, the bullish trend line here, before we look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation. So now to make our job easier during this week, what I was able to do here is to identify um, a temporary key level that should be guiding our action for this week. So when I look left, I look at the structure we have here, we can see in the last, um, during the last week, we can see how this level has been um, respected multiple times we saw it as a demand zone here we saw multiple rejection here by the sellers and right now we saw selling selling opportunities from this level selling opportunities from this level we can see what happened here as well then it became a demand zone at this point and it's appeared it's also becoming a demand zone right now in the early hours of today so with this with the scenario I just painted here, you will agree with me that this level has been a major determinant of price action. So what we want to be doing henceforth is this. After identifying this key level at its $9.50 $9 level, so what we want to be seeing is as long as price continues to oscillate right above the $89 mark, we want to be comfortable in a buying position. And if price continues to oscillate right below the $89.50, we want to be thinking of selling opportunities. So let's start with the selling perspective on this one. So if we see price break down, this is a four hours time frame, for instance. If we see price break down this $89 mark, $89.50 mark, which also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line we identified on the weekly time frame, then we should be seeing this as a signal of a possible bearish momentum and if we cite the signal remember we are not getting too excited we will be waiting for further confirmation which will likely come in form of either a retest of this bullish trend line or the key level at the $89.50 after which we go down to the lower time frame to look out for patterns that supports a downtrend continuation and if that happens that is we see reversal patterns right below the $89.50 level we want to take advantage of that selling momentum with a take profit target around the 82 83 84 dollar area and the reason why we are having that area as our take profit target for any selling momentum here on the us oil is simply because if we look further to the left we can see that we have an impulse leg here so what i did was to um, project this impulse leg into the future such that we if we bring out our Fibonacci extension tool and run it through that impulse leg, what do we have here? Uh, we aim at we aim at the area between the one to one to seven point two. Sorry, hold on a second. I'm trying. We aim at an area between the one to seven point two percent and the one four one four percent extension of that previous impulse leg. So if we have this kind of scenario now, where so how much we will be aiming at about, let's see, right below the structure, 
we should be aiming at about um, a minimum of 500 pips and a max of around 700 pips thereabouts on this one so that is if price tends to move to the downside here that is if price wants to respect this bearish trend line here uh remember what i said we want to wait for signals that signal should come in form of a breakdown of that it's nine dollar fifty cent level which also shares a confluence with the key level here to take advantage of that bearish move that is that that is that for the bearish perspective now considering uh let's go back to the weekly time frame considering the fact that we are sitting right on a bullish trend line and remember how this the last week candle closed the last week candle closed in in the shape of an hammer candle like where i show you which is uh, a clue of a possible bullish momentum here i'm of the opinion that we might be having a bullish momentum here on the us oil considering where price is at at this point in the market so if we scale down to let's say the two hours time frame now for instance and look at what the structure we have here what i will be suggesting at this point is that um we see we had we should be expecting price to do a breakout of this bearish trend line to give us a signal then a retest of either the key level resistant level of the um, bearish trend line here or the dim or the bullish trend line here should give us confirmation to join the rally to the upside so um, I'm still tending towards the bullish momentum here as we can see what has been happening since last week trading session we can see price has continued to find higher highs and higher low so I'll be tending towards the bullish potential here on the US oil so if a bullish momentum finally happens here where will our take profit target be well if we look at the structure we have here we don't want to get too um, over ambitious on this one so if we look left we can see that we have a structure around this here that has been a selling niche in the past we can see we have one here which has been a selling niche in the past and we have um, this area which has been a demand zone in the past so what we want to be doing now is that around the $95 level and the $97 area should be a take profit target for any buy opportunity here on the US oil. So we should be aiming at around, let's say, around 500, 600 pips to catch here if price moves in our direction. Now, you would, uh, for those who are not in the street, what I'll be suggesting at this point is let's scale down to the 15 minutes time frame and see what's happening let's see if we can actually take advantage of this bullish momentum that's already unfolding before our highs so um, hold on a second let's see I want to sh mm. okay so since the beginning of the week that is this week we have seen a consolidation phase right between the 89 dollar 70 cents and the 89 dollar 10 cents area we saw this consolidation phase price continued to oscillate right within this level then we saw a, um a little breakdown a retest in the form of a double bottom structure then we saw a breakout of that structure so what i'll be suggesting here is to see if we could be having a retracement back into this neckline area that was that's our key level at the $89.50. Then we look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the rally. But um, I think joining the rally from this point in time, where, where price is at this moment, is also a very good area with a stop loss right around the neckline here. So I think it's appropriate to join at this point in the market. So for the US oil, let's take advantage of this move from this point um if you have any question whatsoever feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and let's look at this together so i'll be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to look at the comment section to see if we are going to be if we have any question whatsoever that needs further clarification
Okay, Susi MB Hi. All right. Okay. Gang speed is asking is US oil going up or down? Well, I think I I just explained to you what my expectations are. Um judging from the scenario we saw here on the weekly time frame where price has done a rejection of um we we saw how the last week candle closed with a sharp rejection of the key level at its five dollar level and also a sharp rejection of that bullish trend line i'm of the opinion that we might be having a bullish scenario here on the u.s oil and for us to actually sell the u.s oil in a long-term perspective we want to see price break down that bullish trend line then probably a retest of that structure will give us a confirmation to join the decline so since that is not happening at this point i'm still tending towards a possible bullish momentum from this area so um to buttress this fact we scale down to a much lower time frame where i was able to identify a structure here that um, i said we can take advantage of right now as we can see that um price is oscillating right above that it's nine dollar fifty cent level so i told you earlier that if price continues to oscillate right above the 89 dollar level i want to be comfortable in my buying position however in order that as yeah, um, i always try to paint two scenarios and the reason why i do that is simply because if anything contrary to what we have expected here happens you might be stranded and don't know what to do so in the other scenario which i told you i said if we at any point during the new york session today see an outright breakdown of this it's nine dollar fifty cent level which i'm not i'm not thinking will happen but should it happen that we see a breakdown of the eighty nine dollar fifty cent level and if you see look closely we can see that we have that bullish trend line we identified on the weekly time frame right around this area so if we see price break the two levels then that could be a signal that we are going bearish and what we want to be doing if we see that is to look for a retest of the structure at eighty nine dollar eighty nine dollar fifty cent level or probably this bearish trend line with reversal patterns on the one time frame then we can join the decline but if that does not happen um the, then we are comfortable with our buying position right above the eighty nine dollar fifty cent mark i hope i've made myself clear there gang speed okay um mr kang wants us to do eth okay let's see if that's going to be possible i will put it in my i'll write that down okay shana hi marian bo hi all right so let's continue with with um the session so the next pair we want to be looking at is the u.s tech remember remember last week we were enjoying a bearish momentum on the u.s tech and things appears to continue in that direction so far so for those who are still in that trade last week well um kudos to you for the old in that position and right now price appears to be tending towards that bearish bias that we projected last week now i want us to quickly have a um a look into the um higher time frame to see what we have here and how our plans for the new week is going to be happening well on the daily time frame it's obvious that price action has been on a very strong bearish momentum since the beginning of the year as i was able to connect the series of lower highs to identify this resultant bearish trend line so if we look at the structure we have here in the last couple of weeks we can see that price is still right around this bearish trend line and since we are right around the bearish trend line uh, and considering the long-term bearish momentum here on the us tech i want to be looking forward to a selling momentum on this one so i want to see price respect this bearish trend line one more time to push price to the downside so now that we've identified the scenario on the higher time frame how do we intend taking advantage of this move when it finally happens well like i said we are already in this trade since last week for those who are in this trade this last week kudos to you you want to lock in some profit at this point but for those who are not in this trade uh, this is what we should be looking out for well personally i after looking at the structure we have here on on the higher time that's on the daily time frame 
and I scale down to the one hour time frame and look at how participants in the market are actually um, moving price during the early hours of today I decided to take that sell continuation right below the 13,150 level and how did I do that this is what I saw we can see that we have a gap here price actually closed at around the 13,230 dollar level last week and upon market opening this week we saw a huge gap we saw a huge gap and giving us a clue into how the participants in the market are feeling about the US tech so because of this move this um, gap that I saw I begin to think that um, this bearish momentum might last another one week so I looked at what happened since the beginning of the of this week's trading session we saw our price consolidated between the 13,200 level and the 13,150 level we saw this move we saw our price consolidated before we saw the breakdown of this level so when I saw the breakdown of 13,150 level I knew we are really going for a downtrend so a reset of that structure on lower time frame gave me that confirmation to join this decline so right now I am in about uh, how many pips in profit right now a hundred pips they are about in profit at this point in time so now for those who have missed this move if you are taking that move kudos to you for identifying that but if you are not in that move at this moment in time well what I'll be suggesting is that um, you remain patient to see how price is going to relate with the 13,040 level so what I'll be suggesting here is to be patient to wait for price to either come back into this bearish trend line here or, or this 13,150 level area it could not go as far as that it could come close or probably around it but the most important thing you want to see is a reversal pattern on lower time frame it could be your double top structure your head and shoulder pattern whatever reversal pattern that supports a trend continuation to the downside so you could actually join after that confirmation happens that is for those who had missed this breakdown of the 13,150 level so if we have that right now where will our take profit target be well from the from a higher time frame if we look at the structure we have here on the higher time frame what I what I what I did here is to look at the previous impulse leg so what I did so if we look at the structure we have here we saw that on the daily time frame we had this impulsive move that started in the month of July that took price to as far as the $13,720 level and we saw we begin to see this downtrend scenario which looks more like a retracement phase of that previous impulse leg for now so at this point in time I want to be looking at our tip of the target around the golden zone of this impulse leg so you'll be asking me what is the golden zone the golden zone is the area between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of our previous impulse leg and if we bring out our Fibonacci retracement tool here and run it through that impulse leg we have somewhere around here that is between the 50 and the 78.6 percent has our take profit target so let's label this area for the sake of clarity so we have a tip target sitting right within this zone hold on a second let's um So we have a TP target right between the 12,400 level and, and 12,900 level. So let's go back to the one hour time frame so that we can see what we are talking about here. So this is what we have at this point. So we should be aiming at about how many pips that is. Um, that is about um, from this point, at least a minimum of 300. So and it could be, a, it can go as far as, um, let's see. We can go as far as um, 700 pips to catch here on the US tech. So let's continue to see how price is going to play out this week. So I'm still holding my bearish buyers on the US tech, and I hope you do as well and remain and be on standby to take advantage of that move when it finally happens. So for those who, uh, if you have any question whatsoever regarding what I just explained so far, feel free to drop your inquiry in the comment section so that um, we can we can be of help so I'll be taking the next 10-15 seconds to read through the chat to see if there are any questions 
whatsoever and if they are none we just move on to the next pair okay Jozo, do you sure your income is safe? Um, just make sure that um, you, you know what you're doing. So the next pair we'll be looking at is the AUD-USD. And on the AUD-USD, let's see what's happening on the AUD-USD. So on the AUD-USD, if we scale up to the higher time frame, let's go to the higher time frame here. That is the daily time frame. Let's see what's uh, let's go as far as the weekly. Let's look at it from the weekly. So on the weekly time frame, the first thing I was able to do here on the weekly time frame is to identify this key level at the 0 0.700 level area. And the reason why I, I identified that level is simply because it has been a major determinant of price action in the past. If you go back as if you go as far back as 2019, December. We saw how we had a rejection here by sellers. We saw a little rejection here by sellers that pushed price to the downside a little bit, though it wasn't that strong. Then we saw as soon as price broke above the 0 0.700 level, we saw multiple rejection by the buyers, um, the later part of the of 2020. Then if we fast forward into December 2021. We saw another multiple rejection of that level so right now price is right around that level at this point giving me um, this caught this actually attracted my and called my attention to this situation here as price is right within that key level one more time so since price is within that key level at this time what is going to be our plan this week and if we look at what has been happening since the beginning of the year we can see that the AED USD has been on a strong downtrend even though we have it right within that key level zone it has been on a very strong downtrend and what will be our plan are we going to be seeing price continue to the upside from here or are we going to be seeing um, a trend continuation to the downside from this point so this is what we are going to be looking at we'll be looking forward to this week so we'll scale down to a much lower time frame so that we can see what is really happening in this market. Now, when we scale down to the daily time frame, the first thing you will be able to observe here on the daily time frame is that price has been bearish since the month of April. After connecting the series of lower highs, we have this bearish trend line that has been guiding price action since um, the first day of the month of April. And something interesting happened during the later part of the month of July. What we saw here was um, an ultra, a breakout retest of the structure. We saw breakouts and multiple rejection of this level to give us a clue into um, a selling momentum evolving right now. So with this multiple rejection of this level, we have a breakout rejection, retest of this level, followed by a significant breakout during um the first week of the month of the first week of the month of april we saw this outright breakout of that structure giving us a signal that a bullish momentum is imminent now from a technical perspective when we see such such situations like that when we see a breakout of structure we expect price to come back and do a retest of that structure after which we look out for confirmation on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside so with the current structure we have here now, things are gelling towards a bullish momentum. As the breakout of that bearish trend line, we noticed, we observed on the first day of the month of July appears to give us um, a clue of buying strength at this point in the market. So the next thing we did here is to scale down to the four hours time frame so that we can look out for how we could take advantage of that bullish momentum. Now, if we go down to the four hours time frame, what do we have here? The first thing you will notice here is this. As soon as price tested the 0 0.66900 area here, we saw this bearish impulsive move. We saw something like a double bottom structure here, which from a technical perspective is a very, very strong reversal pattern. Then we saw price break out of the neckline of that double bottom structure. We saw a retest of the neckline at the 0 0.6800 level and price kept on moving to the upside from this point so right now 
um, we can see that we are really on a very strong momentum. Now, if we zoom into what has been happening um, since the later part of since the later part of um, the month of July, we can see that we have a very strong demand zone right around the 0 0.6900 level. This is what I'm talking about here. We can see we see multiple rejection since um, the later part of July. We saw you can see rejection at this point. Then during the early days of those months, we saw rejection. We saw rejection by buyers, and right now price appears to be rejected from this point one more time, giving me a clue into the strength of this level as a buying buying zone. So now that we've identified this buying zone here, now look at what happened. Look at what happened. I want to share show you a confluence that happened. We saw the breakout of that bearish trend line on the daily time frame. Right now, price appears to come back to do a retest of that area. So and after that, we saw this engulfing candles taking price out of that demand zone. And now, if we scale down to the one hour time frame to look at how participants in the market have reacted to this area, you will begin to see that a bullish momentum appears to be um, becoming very evident. Since the beginning of the of the week, we saw our price consolidated right between the 0 0.6850 and the 0 0.68700 area before we saw the breakout of that level. So we saw a breakout of that level, we saw a retest of that structure, and boom, it is time to take. That's a confirmation that a bullish momentum is is um um is very very evident here now that we have that scenario actually i missed that move i missed this retest of structure here this one this one here i missed it but i was able to join the rally right above the 0 0.6900 area so for those who joined the way i did kudos to you for identifying that but if you had not um right above the 0 0.6900 area appears to be an area you want to be taking advantage of this bullish momentum so to make our job easier this week one thing i want to be doing here is to identify a, a temporary key level if you look left we can see how this area hold on a second let me show you that area before i draw it out we can see how this area has been a demand niche we saw a demand niche here price became a selling zone here a selling zone here and right now we have a breakout of that structure so to guide our action this week i want to draw out a key level that we want to be using to guide our action so bringing out uh, my line chart here and running connecting these points together at the 0 0.6900 area we have somewhere around the 0 0.6900 as a key level to guide our action this week so let me label this 0 0.69000 level so let's place it right at the top so we have somewhere here so this is what is going to be our guide for this week so we want to continue to see price oscillate right above this level for us to be comfortable in our buying position on the AUD USD now that we've identified how to take advantage of this bullish momentum here on the AUD USD how do we intend uh, where will where will our take profit target be now let's scale up a little to the four hours time frame and let's see what structure we have here well if we look at the structure we have here um we expect that this bullish momentum will still go um very very far as far as 0 0.7200 level which will be dovetailing to about um, 300 pips they are about to catch here but since we are actually looking at this from a weekly perspective that is we want to take advantage for this week alone so what we want to be doing here is to look at the structure we have in the past. So if we look at the structure we have in the past, we have a selling niche around this area. So we want to see how price action will relate with that level. Are we going to be having a breakout of that level to give us a signal of um, a further move to the upside? Or is there going to be a reversal pattern right below this level? So because of that, because of the fact that we want to see how price is going to relate with that level, what we want to be doing is we don't want to be too over ambitious. Let's just place our take profit target somewhere around the 0 0.70700 and the 0 0.70100.
area which will be drifted into at least a minimum of 200 pips to catch here so let's see how price will relate with that level then if we have further breakout of that structure we could be thinking of adding more position to our existing trade so this is what i'm looking forward to here on the AUD, AUD USD. and another thing i also want to call our attention to that can be our guide for this week is this bullish is this trend line here if we look in the past we can see how this trend line has been respected we can see multiple rejection of this level during the early days of the month of july though we had a breakdown of that level during the mid month of july which transformed into a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom structure we saw a breakout of that level retest of that level price came out and then we can see that price came back into that bullish trend line one more time so I'm um, going into the new week this level should be our guide for bullish momentum here on the AUD USD so I will be I want to extend this line out a little further so that we can use it as our guide for the week so we want to be using this um, bullish um, this trend line as a guide for bullish momentum for this week so what simply means is that if at any point in time we see price break below this bullish trend line we want to be changing uh, we want to be uh, we want to be getting out of that um, opportunity of that bullish opportunity here on the AUD USD so this is my scenario here on the AUD USD so let's um, be on standby to take advantage of that move when it finally happens so that is that on the AUD USD if there are any question whatsoever please feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and I am willing to be of help so um are there any questions okay hi wings law jj johnson all right okay hello hi max good morning how are you lucky look okay good morning 908 good morning all right ashitaka good morning how are you ah well we are yet to say anything about gold at this point in time 769 good morning okay so let's move on to the next pair so the next pair i want us to be looking at is the which one should we look at the usd jpy yes let's look at the usd jpy and let's take it from let's start from the weekly time frame and on the weekly time frame it is obvious that price action is bullish as you can see we can see that we are very we have a very strong um, resulting bullish trend line that has been guiding price action since the beginning of the year and one thing we want to be looking forward to, considering the long-term bullish moment on the US to JPY and based on the current structure we have here on the weekly time frame is to be looking for bullish potentials during this week uh, you can see what happened during the course of um, last week trading set, last trading week we saw a bullish engulfing candle taking us out of that 135 Japanese yen area so I want to show you how that happened so we scale down to a city daily time frame so on the daily time frame what do we have here on the daily time frame if we zoom in to the structure we have here since um in the last couple of months the first thing you will observe here is this we saw our price go to as far as the 139 450 dollar 50 japanese yen level then we saw this bearish momentum that took price right back into the 130 japanese yen and what we saw here we saw multiple rejection i think we saw a double bottom structure which comes like this we saw price come back to the neckline at the 135 japanese yen then we saw the second rejection of this level which is right on the bullish trend line now we saw how the how we, we saw how buyers took price right out of that neckline at the 135 breaking out of that area to give us a signal and we all understand that from a technical perspective whenever we see a double bottom structure like this we expect price to break out of the neckline to give us a confirmation that this reversal pattern is mature 
So right now we have a mature reversal pattern in the form of a breakout of that neckline. Now that we have a breakout of the neckline, what is going to be our expectation this week? From a theoretical perspective, if we look at the structure we have here, we expect that price is going to come back into the neckline to do a retest of that structure. So with the current structure we have here on the USD JPY, it's likely we might be seeing price go as far as respecting this bearish this bullish trend line one more time or probably the neckline at the 135 Japanese yen area where we will be looking forward to reverse our patterns on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside. So this is what I am expecting here on the USD JPY from a long term perspective. However, it is pertinent that we look at what participants in the market are actually doing since the since the session started today. So to see that we scale down to the one hour time frame and on the one, time, one hour time frame, we begin to see our participant in the market has been relating with this level. So look at what happened here. We can see um, a consolidation phase right between the 136.800 level and the 137.450 level. We can see price as, as moves between this area in the last um, in the last um, 12 to 18 hours right now, we can see price has been oscillating right between these two levels. So what I'm thinking here is that we could be having um, that move that could be sending price right back into the neckline we identified on the higher time frame, after which we want to be looking for that opportunity to take advantage of that move to the upside. So for those who are keen on taking a counter trend opportunity on the USD JPY, then you could be looking for an opportunity to sell the USD JPY somewhere around here. For the sake of clarity, let me draw out um, a structure that we can be looking forward to to guide our action. So what we're going to be doing is to look out for structures around the 136.750 level so let's label this 136.750 level. So this is for those who prefer taking short-term short-term trade or counter trend opportunity. So let's um, let me show you what I'm thinking. So here we have a key level right now. So if we see a, a signal, we see as we look out for a signal that is a breakdown of this level, that's the signal. Then we wait for price to give us a confirmation to join the decline to the downside. So this is for those who would like to take advantage of a bearish of a counter trade opportunity, which could dovetail to at least a minimum of 150 pips to catch here if price moves in that direction. So let's go back to the first time. Let me show you what I'm talking about here so that you can have a better perspective. So remember we said we have this neckline here, we have this double bottom structure. Um, hold on a second. Let me show you. So we talk, I shared with you that um, the appearance of a double bottom structure right above that bullish trend line. We had a breakout of that structure, and I told you how we expect price to do a retest of that structure. It could be the neckline or those bullish trend line to join the rally to the upside. So right now we look, we begin to see structures that look like. Um, the retracement phase is about to happen on the lower time frame that's on the one hour time frame so that is why i identified the structure here that is if we finally see price break down this level that should give us a signal that price um, is is intending to move to this direction but if you are a long-term trader i'll be advising you to be patient to wait and see how price is going to relate with this level so let's see, it. for me personally, I want to wait for price to come back into this level for me to take advantage of any bullish momentum here on the USD JPY. So this is my scenario on the USD JPY. If you have any question whatsoever, feel free to drop, drop it in the comment section. I will be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to run through the chat and see if there are any questions whatsoever. Okay. All right. So let's see if we have any questions.
So, in the absence of none, let's move on. But before we do, I want to share something with you here on the USD JPY. Now, on the USD JPY, like I said, price has been oscillating right between the 137.500 and the 136.750 area. Uh, if we at any point during the New York session see witness a breakout of this level, then that's a signal that we are going bullish here. So if that happens, a retest of structure with reversal patterns on lower time frame should give us um, that confirmation to look for a bullish opportunity on the USD JPY. So that means price is not going to go that far to the downside. So that is what we're looking forward to here. So let's move on to the last pair for today. And that should be... What pair should we be taking for today? That what, what should be the last pair we'll be taking for today? What pair should we be taking for today? The last one. Should I take USD card? Euro USD. Let's take USD card. Or let's take... Um, Okay, want us to take gold. Okay, uh, let's take gold then. Um, I actually missed this trade on gold. Um, I missed the selling opportunity on gold this morning. When I when I woke up, I woke up very late, so I missed it. So let's quickly let's look at what's happening on the gold. Let's scale up to the higher time frame and let's see what we have here. Let's start on the weekly time frame, I guess. So on the weekly time frame, I actually have major levels on this gold. The first one is the bullish trend line, which has been guiding price action for over six years now. We see our price has continued to respect that bullish trend line. You can see we had the first touch here. We, we saw our price continue to respect that bullish trend line before we saw the peak at the 2000 and $77 level after which we saw um, price caught with the net consolidation phase right between the $2,070 level and the two, $1,700 uh, is it $1,700? Yes, $1,700 level. So that's the major bullish trend line we have here and now there are other bullish trend lines that I call temporary at this point. We can see um, this this level holding price action supported i want to show you uh, this one you can see how it's held price supported here and right now price is right back right back within that level then um what we want to be looking forward to right now is this is price going to respect this bullish trend line this bullish trend line here to push price to the upside that is one thing we want to be looking looking at and is price going to break down that bullish trend line with the intention of a retest to come back into the major bullish trend line that has been holding price action in the last six years to push price to the upside so that's the second scenario we want to be looking at so now with this information we have here let's scale down to the daily time frame to have a better perspective into what has been happening in the last couple of weeks sorry last couple of months then we can now think of um, a possible um, trading opportunity. Now that we, we scale down to the daily time frame here, the first thing I was able to do is to connect the series of lower highs that have been guiding price action since March of this year. So we have this resulting bearish trend line, which you can see on your screen with a dotted, dot, dotted red line. And you can see our price has continued to respect that line. Even, as, even last week, we saw a very um good respect of that of that let of that level which appears to be my major key level for the week so right now that we have the structure here we can see price respected 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 and respected that area for selling momentum with the current structure it is obvious that price action is bearish but span the market actually selling the gold for the usd However, we need to take into consideration the channel which I identified on the 
weekly time frame where I told you price has been oscillating between this level since um, the last two years. And one thing we saw here is that as soon as price comes into this area, we saw buying momentum. We saw buying momentum as soon as price comes into this demand zone at around the $1,700 level. We saw buying momentum and during the course of um, last month, we saw price reject that area one more time, which also shares a confluence with that very bullish dotted line we identified on the weekly time frame. So now that we have a sharp rejection of that demand zone, is this demand zone going to hold buying momentum despite the fact that we saw bearish we, we identify this bearish trend line and one thing we want to be doing now if that's going to be the case we can see that we have this bearish impulsive move price came to the key level at the $1,800 mark and could this turn out to be a reversal pattern that is a double bottom structure where the key level at the $1,800 level would be the neckline of the reversal pattern a retest of structure will give us confirmation to to join the rally is that going to be the case that's a very big question for this week and what we want to be doing now is to wait and see how price will relate with this bullish trend line so since the beginning of the week right now let's scale down to the one hour time frame since the beginning of the week we have seen bearish momentum we have seen bearish momentum since the beginning of the week so one thing i want us to be doing here is to remain patient to see how price will relate with this level so is price going to come back to this bullish trend line here where we will look out for reversal patterns to take advantage of a bullish continuation that is one scenario we want to be looking forward to then the other scenario is are we going to be having a breakout of this bearish trend line then after which a retail should give us confirmation to join the rally to the upside so on the XAUSD if you had not joined the selling momentum here in the morning I will advise that you hold on to see how price is going to play out in the next couple of hours. So we can see how price started this week. Price started around, um, hold on, hold on a second, let me show you. Price started around the $1,748 level and has been oscillating between that level and the $1,745 level since the beginning of the week. Then we saw the breakouts of that level. Price came down. So let's wait and see. Is price going to come back into this area with the hopes of um, doing a multiple rejection of this level to send price going to the downside again? That's something we want to see. So that's if you had missed this move, and definitely you want to be holding on to see, you want to hold on to see how price will play out, how price is going to react with this um, bullish trend line that's from a higher perspective but if we scale down to the 15 minutes time frame what do we have here on the 15 minutes time frame um, let's scale. what do we have here on the 15 minutes time frame um, bring my line chart out and let's connect the series of lower highs here So we have a bearish trend line here on the 15 minutes time frame. So going into the New York session now, if we are looking for selling momentum again, that is for those who had missed that move from that upside, then I will be suggesting that we wait to see to see if price is going to come back into this level this level at the 1738 let's give it a label 1738.700 so we have a level there so if price price has done the rejection of that level and price is going to the downside here so if we have another attempt at this bearish trend line we could take advantage of a bearish momentum to the downside and where will our take profit target be well we look at the last the previous impulse like here on the 15 minutes time frame i think it started from here uh from here so let's bring out our fibonacci extension tool 
and we aim at the 127.2 and the 1414 area. And that is going to fall right around the $1,720 level. So we have a tippy tiger here. Let's place it right inside this box. And then we have, hold on. So, so we have a tippy target around this area. So let's see if price is going to give us an attempt in such a way that it comes back into either this key level or this bearish trend line that we could take advantage of uh, multiple rejection of that level or a sharp rejection of that level to the tippy target here, which will dovetail to about uh, 800 to 900 pips here and a maximum of 1000 pips to catch here if price does that. However, if we see an outright breakout of that level, that is the 1738.700 level, we see an outright breakout of that level, then this turns out to be a double bottom structure. Hold on. Oh, sorry. So this turns out to be a double bottom structure if we see a breakout of that 1738.700 level. So if we see that breakout, that's a signal. But remember, we don't want to get too excited at the sight of a signal as we wait for price action to give us that confirmation which is likely going to come in form of a retest of the 1738 level or this bearish trend line then we could join the rally to the upside from here so this is the scenario we want to be looking forward to on the XAU USD are uh, there any questions whatsoever Ashitaka are you still in the house is there any question okay so in the absence of none, I think this is going to be the last pair we'll be taking for today. Uh, let's quickly do a quick recap of what our ex um, we did so far today and then we call it a day. So the first pair we looked at is the US oil and on the US oil, we took advantage of a bullish momentum here and we're already in profit right now on the US oil with about how many pips in profit right now? With about 100 pips in profit right now. With about 100 pips in profit right now then um so let's see how price plays out so as long as price remains above the 89 dollar level we want to be we want to maintain our bullish bias on this one then at if at any point in time price comes back to do a retest of either this bullish this bearish trend line or this 89 dollar 50 cent level we want to take advantage of a bullish uh, opportunity here that is that is our expectation on the us oil then we moved on to the US tech. Sorry. So on the US tech, we are already on a selling momentum here on the US tech as price action as. So on the US tech, we are already on a selling momentum here. So what I said is this on the US tech, for those who had missed this move, um, we want to wait for price to come back to the 13,150 level to give us some um, further confirmation to either had for those who are still in this trade, who had more position to their trade. And for those who are not in this trade, you could be taking this as an opportunity to join the decline. Now, on the AUD USD, what did we say here on the AUD USD? Uh, we actually seen the bullish momentum here. So, to make things easier for us on the AUD USD, the 0 0.6900 level has been identified as a yardstick to guide our action going forward. So, what we want to be seeing here is price to continue to oscillate right above the 0 0.6900 level to be comfortable in our buying position. So already we already have a position triggered here and our take profit target right around the 0 0.71 area, 0 0.71150 area at this point. That's that on the AUD USD. Then we moved on to the USD JPY where I shared with you an expectation on the higher time frame on the long term perspective where I'm expecting 
price to come back into my neckline here at the 135 Japanese yen area to take advantage of a bullish momentum. However, I was able to identify um, a counter trend opportunity for those who intend taking advantage of that move. And what I said is that we should wait for price. I was able to identify this 136,750 level where I told you to wait for price to break down those levels to give us a signal. Then if that happens, then a retest of structure on lower time frame should give us further confirmation to join this decline with a take profit target at around the 135 area. However, if price breaks out of the zone at any point during the New York session, then we could probably be having a signal of a bullish momentum. So if that happens, we want to look forward to a retest of the structure, then we take advantage of a trend continuation to the upside. Then we went on to, I think we, the last pair we deliberated on today was the XAUS, that is the gold, where um, we were not able to get um, a long-term perspective on higher time frame. So we looked at um, the lower time frame, which is the 15 minutes time frame, where we've been seeing a bearish momentum since the beginning of the week. And one thing I stated here is that we remain, pa we remain patient to wait for, for price to um, give us further confirmation to either join. Now, to make our job easier, what did I do here? The first thing we did is to identify this bearish trend line. So we expect that um, price will at one point in time come back to re respect that bearish trend line to give us um, a confirmation to join the decline. Now, in addition to that, we're able to identify this key level at $1,738.70 where I said should be our yardstick if we see price continue to oscillate right below this level, we want to remain comfortable in a selling position. And if we see price break out of that structure to the upside, we want to be looking to buy the gold. So what, what do I mean here? So if we see price break out of that structure, then definitely what we have here now becomes a double bottom structure, which is a very strong reversal pattern. Break out of that structure as the neckline. And then we wait for confirmation in the form of a retest of the structure to join the the the, um, the rise to the upside. However, if price comes back into that bearish into that key level, and we see multiple rejection here by respecting this bearish trend line, we want to be taking advantage of a bearish momentum with a take profit target around the one thousand seven hundred twenty-seven dollar five hundred um, fifty cent level. So that is our scenario so far. So we are able to take one, two, three, four, five, five pairs today. And let's see how price is going to play out on the spare. So tomorrow we are going to come back again and look at the spare and see how well they are doing. And we can make further projection henceforth. So on this note, I want to wish you all a wonderful day. I really appreciate every moment. Ashitaka, um, who else again? 359, uh, IMAX. All of you guys, I love you all, and I wish you best of luck during the New York session today. And if you, one thing I also I always like to say is this: whenever you are um, the New York session starts, please um, trade without emotions. We want to wait for your signals. Remember, you don't get too excited at the sight of your signal. You want to wait for confirmations to happen, which will likely come in the form of a retest of the structure we have identified. Then we look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the decline or the rise in price action. So on this note, I wish you best of luck during the New York session and hoping to see you same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. UTC, 10 a.m. UTC or 11 a.m. West African time, same place, extra speed live. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.